Inventor projects um, with in in terms of their use with Design Data Manager is pretty simple. It simplifies the whole project system, but um, on their own, they can be a little bit um, of a problem for for customers. Um, if you look File and then go to Projects. Okay, DDM will give you. Oh, sorry, Inventor will give you a list of um, all the projects that have been created. So, a typical um, Inventor user would create a new project for each um, project or each uh, new piece of design work they would do, and then all that that project would then control um, all the paths or the search paths for things like standard parts, libraries, styles. Um, and subdirectories where where they organize all the parts. So it is quite a good little system um, used outside DDM. But when used with DDM, you'll find that a um, a default um, project is used, which points directly to working direct um, C Design Data Manager working. So you shouldn't have any problems um, working with it there. Um, the only problem you could ever have is if um, one of the users or yourself changes. To another project, um, you do this by double clicking, and then and then DDM would start probably saving things in the wrong place, and you might have a few resolution problems. So you just need to make sure that your C Design Data Manager working project is um, active with a big tick next to it. Um, to make an object to make a project active, you need to double click um, on it here. Um, but if you've got objects open from another project, it'll it'll fail you. So you, what you need to do is close down everything from a session and then change projects. Okay. Thank you very much.